You see how there is a very very busy entrance side there? We don't want that to happen. We want to extend and make the entrance bigger now. All of them landing at once and trying to get in all at once in one little hole and just like high traffic, really hard for them to get in and get out. Also, why do we reduce entrance in the winter time? Well, because if there is a small entrance, you only need few bees to protect this entrance from small beetle hive and bunch of other bugs. But when you have a big entrance, you need more bees to protect this entrance. That's why we reduce all the entrance to this little one. But now that it's warm, all this, so many bees, thousands of them trying to get in and out, and there's little entrance like that, they can not get in and out easily. The queen thinks, okay, we need to split the hive. They think it's too big of a hive. So that's one mistake you don't want to do. Make sure you make big entrance for them. Especially with big hives, they have more bees, they can protect bigger spaces, bigger entrance. Also, the air can come in and out better, so that way the hives not gonna get too hot, and that way they don't have to come out and vent their hives up. So that's another reason why I'm putting over here screen bottom boards, so that way the air can go in and out really easily, and they don't get too hot, it's just perfect. I like this as well. Also, the bugs or everything that not supposed to be in the hive, they just fall through like small beetle hive, bunch of bunch of little bugs. The bees knock them over and they just fall through to the net. I really like this a lot. For the winter I had wood bottom boards, that way it's gonna be warmer for them. But now that summer is coming, I'm gonna put this back in. So first of all, I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna show it to you on a smaller hive. Uh, so just to show you what I'm gonna do to all of these hives. Boom, you see this is bottom board is there is no screen. Over here there's come in this aluminum part. I like to use this for the winter time because the heat stays inside of the box more. But for the summer times bees do get too hot. So right here it will keep them ventilated. And right here, there is a small entrance for the winter, and this is the bigger entrance. That's what we're going to use this time. Boom. And now they have much bigger entrance to come in and out. Now I'm just gonna put everything back. There's a smaller hive, they're usually less aggressive. But let me show you. Remember last time I put this pollen bodies over here? They ate a lot, as you can see. They're loving it. Beautiful. Okay, let's lock them up so we're not disturbing them. But look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven frames full of bees. A really stone hive. I also have on the top board, I have entrance like that. I usually, for the winter time, I put it upside down so the bees cannot get out. But now I'm going to give them one entrance on the top as well. So there's better ventilations and more space for bees to get out and get in. Of course, gonna give them an front that extra entrance. And that's pretty much what I'm gonna do to the rest of the hives. Most important I have to do to this hive because this hive is the biggest. And look how they barely can get in and out just with a few bees. So I don't want them to split, so I definitely gotta do this to this hive real quick. Here you go guys, you see how many bees out here flying around and coming in and out and some of them are burning pollen. Wow, but the traffic is super busy as you can see. Check this out guys, there's bees flying in and out and they bring in pollen. You see some of those bees have this um, yellow little balls on the back of their legs. So they still bring in pollen. But there's so many bees and I feel like they still need more space to come in and out. 
So this layout board, it goes on the top. You see there's two entrance, two entrance, two entrance, and two in the back. So that way they're gonna have way more space to come in and out and they don't have this cluster right here trying to land. They're just a lot of bees trying to get in and out. So simple, what I'm gonna do, whoa, look how many bees there is, just a lot. This hive is just really, really strong. So now they don't have to go all the way down to get out of here. Now I'm just gonna give them this little net board. And this is how the entrance for them to get out if they want. And some in the front and in the back. But wow, look how many. This is the strongest hive I have, that's for sure. And now I'm just gonna put this board back on and we are good to go and close it up there is a queen you see her she's like has this really tall belly a very long belly right there and that's a queen she doing looks like really well this hive is super strong look at her a big big queen right there I want to show you another little thing. You see this little cell? This is actually a queen cell and there's actually a little baby queen inside of it. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, right there. They actually feed it a lot more and give them that royal jelly and it only takes 14 days for queen to get developed. So we're getting a new queen, which is perfect. I want to split the hive and make a new hive and this hive is really strong so I'm gonna make a new hive and take this queen and put that in a new hive so before they split I'll show you pretty soon how to do it here is another example the entrance a little bit too small you see the bees start to get in and out and this is much smaller hive imagine if you're going to get like this hive this big hive Time to get in and out as well and they're having a little bit of a trouble so I'm going to make that interest much bigger right now. 